All right, I have my system set up. Right now I have a primary battery at 12.70 volts. I have it here. Uh, it's a 12 volt uh, 1.3 AH, and I have a similar second battery that is I'm using as my run coil or my uh, charge battery. Um, I have my circuit connected, and I have a total of four coils. They're by filer coils, uh, 23 and 26 gauge wire. Uh, what I've got them set up as uh, connected to my circuit to my terminal block here I have this is my only trigger coil and the second is used as a run um, this by filer coil both um, coils are run coils same as this run and a run coil this is two run coils as well so I have it set up I have a 15 uh, CM uh, trolley wheel that I'm using. I've got six positions on with magnets, I've, but I've got each position has two magnets. One is an N35 and the second magnet is an N42. So they're set up to give me my, magne my magnetic force that I need in triggering this. So let's give it a little twitch and let's start it up. and gets right up to speed and at that RPM which is, I don't know I'm kinda considering I'm probably running about maybe three to four hundred RPMs uh, nothing real real fast um, my amp draw is at 600 milliamps a little closer six six point two six point three let's tune that down to approximately Okay, 600 milliamps and giving me a very good RPM. I'm using the, the trolley wheel because the trolley wheel, um, again, we have just the, the weight to drive this. Also, it's standard bearing grease, which is causing I, I need more force, more torque to drive this. So, the goal of putting this on to, say, a brushless DC motor to generate 36 volts to 48 volts at approximately 12 to 17 amps um, to charge a large battery bank for an off-grid system or even an on-grid system if you would want. So this is the system running and now what I'm planning on doing let's get our RPMs of my potentiometer is kind of moving due to the vibrations I believe on this board it's kind of a warped piece of wood but this is seems to be running very very well I have everything I need um, again this is my test unit so the next process is connecting again this will drain this will actually drive it and then actually this one will drive it and this is my charge so when this goes down I'm going to need to rejuvenate that so putting up a solar panel with a small controller to keep the battery nice and safe and happy and healthy putting in a controller with a solar panel as using only 12 volts I would use a 17 volt panel and that will keep this battery healthy and keep it running. Again, I'm not going to be using this size. I would probably use a 100 AH um, deep cell battery used in like golf courts, golf carts, perhaps like two six volts. And then again with this. Um, this I would want to hook up a controller to it and be able to have a, a dump load because again, this is going to continue charging. But I could put in a battery swapper, but I still need a good feed. And using solar power a few hours a day will keep the battery healthy and keep this running. So I'll be able to use 12 volts, 12 volts in to drive this at, at minimal amps, and as you can see at 600 milliamps, to drive a 
DC brushless motor that's going to put out 36 volts at approximately 17 amps. So I will actually get an over unity in that aspect. I'm going to need to combine two devices. I'm not sure it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Um, mathematically, it kind of works. Physics, they say it doesn't work, but it doesn't hurt to try. So this is the system we have, and I believe it should work. The power, the torque, everything is being driven here. So putting this this rotor onto, say, a wind turbine, remove the blades, put this on, it'll make electricity 24 hours a day. Using solar panels to keep this battery healthy creates it green energy. I'm not using anything other than natural resources to drive it. Lowering the carbon footprint is what it's all about. So this is what we're going to try to do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.